Hello again in OGS Mechanics Workshop. Today we've got a Mercedes Sprinter. This is a 2019 model. It's um, an engine that has quite a high mileage. Uh, I mean, the vehicle has quite a high mileage and has developed the noise. We're just going to show you what the noise is and then we're going to proceed in starting stripping the engine. So we're just going to start it now for you to hear the noise and then we're going to talk a bit more. So let's get the engine running. Hopefully it was uh, quite noticeable, the noise. Um, the way we're going to start on this particular one is by stripping um, the top end. So we can hear the noise coming from a top end. Now, there are two options. Uh, it could either come from a top end where there's a problem with the camshaft and hydraulic lifters, or we can have a bottom end uh, like big end bearings failure. The camshafts, they are quite, um, quite common on those particular engines um, to fail. Uh, mainly the rocker arms, um, they do uh, break the bearings, the, the little ball bearings in the, in the rocker arms, they do fail. And then eventually they cause also camshaft wear. So what we're going to do first of all is going to be a simple thing. If we're going to strip this the intake and we're going to hear a lot of noise in here, this is going to be an indication. Um, the noise is going to come from the uh, from the camshaft, from the top end. Um, this is going to be uh, one uh, good step to start with. So we're going to strip that, and then we're going to start again the engine. So we have um, taken off slack and the Jubilee clip, taken off the plug. We just want to see the difference with the intake pipe on or off. Rev it up. Okay. Okay, so hope is um, quite clear on the video. Um, the sound, there's definitely a, a, a bigger sound when the intake pipe is off. This um, indicates like um, there could be a um, potential problem on the top end so next thing is to remove all the components so obviously airbox the engine cover the cylinder head cover and investigate the top end let's crack on with it and see what we're gonna find work in progress we have removed um, the top airbox um, injector with the pipes um, we still have to get them um, to the cover and that will be the moment that uh, we should see the um, cams and see exactly whether the noise that uh, we're experiencing on this engine um, comes from the top end and whether um, any additional work uh, will need towards the bottom end. Now, what we have noticed it was the noise in the intake um, hose and there's a suspicion of the cam failure. But we're going to reveal that uh, shortly once the, um, the cover is off. At this stage, we have removed the um, uh, components on top, injectors, airbox, and so on, in order to be able to lift up the engine cover. Uh, once this is off, uh, we should uh, view on the cams, um, rocker arms, to fully assess the situation. It's a bit of a fiddly job to take the cover off. Um, also, uh, once it's off, we're also going to check the timing chain condition, but uh, uh, we are firstly concerned about uh, the noise that we are hearing in the um, inlet. Uh, we have to make an assessment uh, and look at 
uh, any possible rocker arms that they are off the place um, it's a bit um, difficult to see because the engine uh, oil is um, quite um, dirty and is, uh, we don't get a, a, a very good view possibly taking the cams out it should give us a better view also we're looking for cams any possible wear on the cams that's um, usually also contributes to that um, uh, noise that we're having and that lower there is the rocker arms um, that they can also wear out uh, and once we're going to have the cams out it will be um, a lot easier we're going to inspect the chain and the sprockets but taking the cams out um, will be the next point of uh, checking which is going to really um, show us what uh, the problem was, the condition, what the problem is there. Before we have proceeded um, to take the camshaft off, we have a closer investigation, a closer look. And what we have found, hopefully can be see, see, that's the top of the valve. And this rocker arm, it, it basically slipped out of position and it's uh, pushing on the... <coughs> on the spring sorry so see how is the other one and this is on the valve on cylinder um, cylinder one now this will um, very likely keep the valve in an open position and it can cause the noise that we were um, hearing when we start the engine uh, also such problem can be caused by a worn hydraulic lifter or uh, also rocker arm so Obviously, as I said, we will remove the cams to uh, inspect all of them, but we have found a problem here.